Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world, woo! And today in this video, I'm going to be joined by... <laughs> nice try, Lee, nice try. Oh, now look what you've done. You've ruined the bed and you've, re you've revealed the hidden chest. No one must know what is in that chest. Quick, we must cover it up, cover it up with, with dirt. With dirt, cover up, cover it up. There we go. <laughs> there we go. No one's gonna know what's in that chest. It's actually, this would actually have been very handy in my last video. Inside that chest is a bunch of my emergency supplies, just in case hit the target attacks. There's a sword, a bow, and uh, a rose as well in there, in case hit the target has hay fever. I can wave it in his face and do hippie power. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's hidden underneath my bed. If you uh, if you ever wondered, and that would have been useful in the last episode. I'm not gonna tell you why. Just in case there's, yeah, I don't want to do any spoilers, but yeah, that could have been handy. And I just put that down. Yeah, it's not, it's not going to go back there, Lee. We're going to have to sort that out later. You've ruined everything. <laughs> well, I suppose I ruined it because I broke it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. I'm not worried about going to sleep because I have just woke up. But something I am worried about is where I am going to get my breakfast from. And am I going to get it from under the bed? No. Am I going to get it from inside this chest here? Um, oh, there's cookies there, actually. Oh, maybe. Actually, no, 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 not, not cookies. I'm not going to get it from in here. I'm not going to eat the flour. I'm not going to gnaw on the stalk. <laughs> uh, I don't want this cake because it's old and mouldy. Uh, I'm not going to eat anything from the jukebox. What am I going to eat, Lee? What could I eat? Ah, you seem to have quite a good idea. You seem to have a cake. Let, let's have a cake. I feel like a change. <gasps> Nom 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 There we go. Team effort, Lee. Team effort. High five. Woo! <laughs> you missed me. You missed me. You missed me. <laughs> oh dear. I don't think I don't can Lee not oh Lee can't attack people, that's why. <laughs> oh god, don't get your sword out. Don't don't test it, Lee. Don't test it. Alright, there we go. High five. Ready? We're gonna do a run. We're gonna run and jump and high five. You ready? Three. Two, one, go! Woo! There we go. I think I got you. I don't think you got me. That will do, though. Anyway, let's go play the uh, the fishing rod game then. A uh, very simple game. You've probably seen it before. All you need to do is flick the uh, fishing rod so it lands on one of the pressure plates down below. Go on, take it away, Lee. Go on, go crazy. See if you can go and get the yellow one. Uh, we keep doing them too short recently, and that is that is definitely too short. Let me have a go. Let me show you how this is done. Right, let's not do it too short. Do it to about there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, oh, a little bit too short. Right, I'm having another go. I don't even care. <clears throat> Excuse me, look, I'm choking. Right, let me go and try and get that one in. There we go. I got it, Lee. I got it, Lee. I got it, Lee. I did it. Right, Lee's there having his second go. And, ah, oh, too bad, too bad. Right, go on, go on, go on, go on, Lee. Keep going, keep going. You got to get it. Right, just first person to get it wins, okay? That, that, that's what the game is. I don't even know whose is whose. Oh, oh, whose is that? Uh, let me try and untangle them. That is you. That is you, Lee. You managed to get it. <laughs> well done. There we go. We both kind of cheated, but we both were able to get it. Woo. Anyway, let's go head over to the uh, the love garden. And uh, let's go and see uh, who I'm going to be uh, adding to it today. And uh, then we're going to go back over to my Beat the Heat fire station and uh, build some fire trucks today, which I've been looking forward to doing uh, for a very long time now. Uh, but first, uh, today to my love garden, I'm going to add uh, Rania Nessa. Uh, Naza? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your name right, but you can see it on the screen. And uh, yeah, basically, she sent me a picture of a gumball machine that she made. And as you can see, it is probably one of the most awesome things in the world ever. It's a Stampy Cat gumball machine uh, that she made all by herself. And I'm also adding to the Love Garden Basil, uh, who is the cat you can see in the, the picture as well. So, uh, Rania and uh, Basil, welcome to my Love Garden. Uh, anyway, let's go and uh, head over to the, the dog house. And uh, first, check that all of my dogs are present and safe and not on top of things. Uh, I might as well talk about what happened in the last video. It's going to be hard to ignore it. Uh, yeah, hit the target. Uh, the dog snatcher came in and tried to pick up all of my dogs in his hot air balloon with a cage underneath. And um, I was able to kind of defeat him. Uh, I knocked him off the hot air balloon, but he was saved uh, in a UFO by my lunar friends. And I have no idea why. And oh, what's going on here? Is there a... Where is that? Was that, was that a, a skeleton in here or something? What's, what was going on there? Was, was, it a, was it a zombie? A creeper? A zombie was it? A zombie with a cake on his head was in here. <laughs> nice way of communicating with me. Anyway, which dog should I take with me today? Let's take... 
Who am I hand in the wild? Let's take Benji with me. And Benji is uh, Benji's down here. Uh, he's the one with the the blue collar, and he can uh, join me in uh, today's video. And oh no, oh no, he saw you dressed up as a zombie. Now he thinks you're a zombie. Right, let's calm him down. Let's go give him some steak and try and calm him down. And then you can be the you can be the the fire dog, and you can come and join us uh, over at the fire station. And uh, let me go show you what the fire station looks like. We have made uh, one or two uh, very small additions uh, since the last episode, but it's pretty much uh, the same as it was. And uh, the only two things that really need to be added are the fire trucks, of course, uh, as well as an alarm system, which I'm going to be hopefully uh, building that today. So here it is, Beat the Heat Fire Station. Uh, you come in here. This is where all of the firemen are going to hang out. And by all the firemen, I mean me and Lee. <laughs> you can see there's some firemen helmets and some axes there as well. Uh, if there's a fire, there'll be an alarm that will go off there. You go wee and slide down the pole and then into here, uh, which is where the uh, the actual fire station is going to be. And what's going on over here? I can see more arrows getting shot. And oh no, Benji, 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 come here. I think Benji needs to cool down. And I know just the place for him to cool down. Right, You run away for a second, Lee. You go, you go back right off. Back, back far away so we can't see you. And Benji, you can come with me. You need to come and cool down in the feeling nice cooling ice room, you see. The, all the dogs are still a little bit worked up, you see, from when hit the target attack. So Benji, do you want to come join me? He's not ch chasing after Lee's still, is he? Benji, where are you, boy? Benji? Benji? I can't, even, I can't even see where he is. Oh, here he is. Come here, Benji. I'm going to have to slide you on your bottom if you're not going to go in by yourself. Come on through the door. Through the door is even going to fit. Right, let's knock the door down. This is a lot of effort, but it's for his own good. It's a nice thing. It's a nice thing. Getting all worked up and hot and flustered. So we need to go and put him in here. Slide him through the door just like this. Uh, past the feeling fab med lab and the can't be missed therapist. <laughs> oh dear. And let's go and try and put him into here. Let's break down the other door. I think Benji's been having one too many pork chops if you ask me. And Benji, you can sit in here and you can cool down. And then at the end of the video, I'll come back and make sure you're cooled down. Don't antagonize him, Lee. Don't antagonize antagonize him. This is, this is for his own good. Let's go put the door down and let's finally go and build some fire trucks. Now I've actually uh, come up with a, quite a cool design which I'm going to show you and they're going to be very very little fire trucks but they should look quite cool. Hello Lee, hello. <laughs> oh dear. Right let's go and um, let's go build down the tyres then. So I'm going to do uh, one wheel there and then one wheel there and then the back wheels I'm going to do I think around here so this is literally how small the, these uh, these fire trucks are going to be and I need some uh, some red wool as well uh, I believe I've got some red wool in here and so I'm going to go and build that um, if I do it along here uh, like this and then uh, along here like this actually I think I'm going to do it uh, one further out uh, so it's going to be, uh, yeah, as I said, quite a little fire truck, uh, but it's going to be uh, quite high. And uh, oh god, oh no, I might have to, to move this a little bit. I might have to go and move that door. I think that's going to be uh, getting in the way. So let me go and uh, uh, shear away the uh, the garage door. Uh, otherwise, this thing might not be able to fit in. It should hopefully uh, just be about able to fit in uh, once I've now got rid of that. So, oh, sorry, Leap, sorry, nearly hit you there. Right, so this is where the... Um, uh, this is where the doors are going to be. Uh, the doors are going to be here uh, above where the, the wheels are going to be. So I'm going to use uh, iron doors, I believe. And so let me uh, go and make myself some uh, some iron doors, which should be... Where are iron doors? I don't make them very often. Here we go. Uh, they should be here. There we go. And I'm going to go and plonk these down. Then there's going to be uh, buttons on the side, I think, uh, which is going to allow you to uh, be able to go and get in and out. So uh, let me go and put that down there and uh, this down here. And uh, what I'm actually going to do is uh, I'm going to use... Use uh, half slabs uh, and put them all underneath. And so if I go and place them along like this, uh, these can be all the way along here, and then they can also be in the bottom of the fire truck as well. And so this is just making it look like it's uh, red and white, uh, kind of like most fire trucks look like in real life. So this is going to go uh, the whole way along here, and then the uh, the roof is going to be made uh, out of these as well. So if that goes along there, and then if I go and oh, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Lee's there keeping himself uh, self entertained. Well, I'll tell you what, Lee. While I'm building this one out here, do you want to go and build uh, another one on the inside? So if you build one uh, inside the garage here and kind of just sort of copy what I'm doing and then hopefully we can get two fire trucks done uh, by the by the end of the video so first let me just make a, a lever for now uh, so I can go and leave the the door open and I can hear loads of googlies in the pick a pet pet shop down there so there we go this is the door open and then I think I need to actually uh, get rid of this wall uh, the wall that I just placed then I'm going to do some more uh, half slabs underneath and so that way you're going to be able to easily walk inside so let me just go and uh, place these the whole way along like this and there we go this is going to be uh, the inside of the, the fire truck. And so now I need to do the front of it. 
and I'm going to use, of course, some glass for the front so you can actually see out. Otherwise, you're probably going to do more damage than good <laughs> if you're driving around in a fire truck without any windows. And then, of course, we need to have some sirens. We need to have, uh, at the top here, we need the flashing lights. We're going to have two uh, redstone lanterns there, and they're going to be the, the flashing lights. And uh, now we can go and start doing the roof. Actually, let's build up the walls a little bit first. So it's going to be uh, red the whole way along here and around the back. And at the very back, uh, we're actually going to add a dispenser. And that is going to dispense water. So it's going to be like a, a hose. So when you press a button on the inside, it's going to go and spray water all over the place down there. So let me go try and hop up here and uh, build the rest along here. And uh, then I'm going to go and build uh, the roof up by where Lee was jumping around on. So <laughs> let me go up here. And as I said, I'm going to use never quartz again here. So I think uh, around the bottom, I'm just going to do half slab never quartz like this. And then in the top, I'm going to build it up as well, just so it adds a little bit more shape. So if I build that around here and then for these bits all I need to do is double them up and then when you do two half slabs it just makes a, a full block like that and I think that looks uh, quite cool doing it like that and then we just need to add a, a lever at the front uh, which is going to be what turns the the sirens on and off and should probably uh, open the the doors open and close as well so let me place that one there and then that one there uh, that there and then that there and here we go it kind of looks like a fire truck already I need to add some more to the front I know let's go and add um let's add a, a ladder to the very front uh, just to make it look slightly different actually I might add a quite a lot of ladders all over it because uh, they always have a, a load of ladders on them and then let's go and do some buttons as well uh, to try and make them look like headlights so if I put that ladder there and then go and put down a button there and uh, a button there and now I'm going to hop upstairs and put a lever uh, to put it on the inside I'm going to make a few levers as well because I'm going to need a few of these so I want to put one on the outside here uh, so I can open that door and then if I hopefully just put one right in the middle of there that should hopefully turn the lights on and off oh no oh no it's not working for some reason why is that not uh do they need to be connected somehow um let me go and try and switch that on and off. Why is that not doing the light? I guess does it have to be... Uh, I'm not actually sure why the, the lights aren't working here. Uh, if I do it... Uh, maybe I've got to put a block in the middle. Would that make any difference whatsoever? Um, I don't think it would. Um... Okay, okay, I'm going to leave it for now, but I'm going to try and hopefully uh, work out a way so I can have the, the lights flashing at the front. I thought that would work, but I can kind of see how it would. Or maybe if I put down um, like a redstone lantern at the front there, maybe. Maybe that would make a difference, because uh, then it's going to switch the, the light on and off here. And then, ah, uh, here we go. Is that going to work? There we go. There we go. Now I got flashing lights. So as we're driving around, we can go wee oh wee oh wee oh like that. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Right, let's go try and uh, let's go fill up that dispenser then, shall we? I need to get rid of this block here and uh, let's go inside here. And it's very dark in here, actually. Let's go put the uh, put the lights back on for now so I can see what I'm doing. And if I put a, I think I need to put a button down there and then a bucket of water in here. And uh, then hopefully when I press the button, it's going to send out uh, a whole load of water. So let me go and uh, make myself one button and I can go and plonk that down there. Then if I press it, hopefully, yep, it's working. That is definitely working. Sorry, Leaf. Sorry, I didn't mean to give you a bath. <laughs> right, I can go and press that again. And that should hopefully uh, go and turn the water back off. There we go. So I think I might just, as I said, add a few more ladders uh, around the place. I might just go and put uh, a ladder along there. And then on the other side, I do a ladder in the, the same place. And here we go. I have now completely finished my fire truck. That does look cool. you got to admit it. That does look like a pretty cool fire truck. As far as fire trucks go, that is a pretty snazzy one. Let's see Let's see how well Lee is doing in here. It uh, looks like he's making good progress as well on his fire truck. And so while he's doing that, uh, I'm going to go and make a, um, uh, a start up here. Oh, no, I can't go up the pole, can I? Come on. Nope. Can't quite get up the pole. Yeah, I'm going to go and make a, a start on the, the alarm system. So the the way this is going to work is there's going to be levers all over my world and basically um, yeah, whenever uh, there's a fire, you pull the lever and it's going to send a signal to here, uh, which is going to light up a redstone lantern. So uh, all I need to do, which should be relatively simple, but bear with me, is uh, to put a, a redstone lamp down there and just simply make it so that uh, there's a trail of redstone from here, uh, which is going to go and light it up. So I think I need to do it in this back corner down here, and then I'm going to do it going through the ground down there somewhere. So uh, if I make a, a few redstone lanterns, uh, uh, through uh, redstone torture, sorry. And uh, I need to go and build them underneath here. I guess if I place one... Uh, let me go and put down that wall again. If I place one on top of there, and then do a, a trail of redstone leading to that from here. And so I think I still got some more redstone on me. Yep. And do that going to there, and then another one there. So basically when this trail of redstone gets lit, lit up, 
uh, that will turn that torch on and off. So let me go and uh, try and hop downstairs, and I'm going to go and uh, try and do the the rest from the uh, from the outside. I think it's going to be the the easiest way to do it. And all looks like Lee's uh, almost got his uh, fire truck finished as well. It'd be good to get them uh, both done before the end of the video. Uh, so yeah, from out here, let me have a quick check. There's no googlies. Oh, there is. Did you see that? Did you see that creeper hiding in the background down there? Let's go take him out now before <laughs> he ends up blowing me up. And I need to watch out for Googly Island over there. Yep, you can see there's of course uh, a Googly there waiting by Googly. Island. He's there like looking at the wall saying like if I can't see him then he can't see me. Doesn't work like that. <laughs> Doesn't work like that zombie. Right so I think this is where my redstone is. And so if I do a torch there and if I did a trail uh, from here and then put a um, another switch here uh, this should hopefully uh, turn that on and off. Actually, no, I don't think that's going to work. I think it needs to be uh, one lower, I think. Actually, I might as well go and do it uh, quite a lot lower because uh, then that way it's all going to be hidden. So that's where the, the torch is. And so if I go, I just use dirt for now because I don't want to use uh, anything better than that. If I go and do that like to there, and then if I go and do a torch on top of that, and then if I go and do a trail of redstone leading from that torch, uh, basically, uh, whatever lever I use here, I should hopefully turn it on and off. So for now, uh, seeing as I'm not actually doing this anywhere in particular, I'm just going to go and dig it back up to here. Uh, but eventually, there's going to be trails from all over my world, all leading to here, uh, basically. Uh, so no matter where I am in my world, if there is a fire, you can pull the lever, and then the fire team will be rushing uh, as quick as they can. Just like in real life, really. Just like you might have it where you work or where you go to school, fire alarms all over the place. Uh, it's going to be just like that uh, but in Stampy's lovely world so if I do that lever there you go you can see the the switch is switching on and off uh, so if I do it like that I think it's gonna be off I believe this light up here there we go the light up there is off then if I go and switch it it should turn on uh, the uh, the light so if I go and switch that again uh, hopefully that's going to set the uh, the signal off and then it's going to be as if there's an alarm and there we go the light is now on we have a working alarm system so let me just go and fill all of that in and uh, I guess I should write down a, a sign just explaining what it is just explaining uh, that that is the the fire alarm system so uh, let me go back to my crafting table oh actually something else that I, I forgot to do uh, is to have a load of buckets and oh what's going on Lee what's going on is there is there a fire is that what you're saying <gasps> I think there's a fire I think there's a fire and there's a creeper there's a creeper as well oh there's a fire there's a fire over there there's a fire by the tree quickly quickly we need to go and put our helmets on we need to go put our helmets on quick go 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 look the alarm's on the alarm's on right let me go and put up my fireman's helmet i'm already wearing one i'm already wearing one right let me go get my fireman's axe then i'm gonna go and chop out the fire i guess right here we go down the pole Woo! <laughs> let me go into the the fire truck oh no the fire truck's blocked it's okay i'm going on foot I'm going on foot. I'm going on foot. I'm on rotten foot. Rotten roof. <laughs> on route on foot. <laughs> right, chop out the fire. And there's a creeper. Chop out the creeper. Chop out the creeper. Don't let him blow up. Don't let him blow up. Chop out the creeper. Oh no, you set me on fire. You set me on fire. Quick, use a bucket. Use a bucket of water, Lee. Put me out. Woo! <laughs> the fire's still going. The fire's still going. Quick, chop out the fire. Chop out the fire. There we go. We saved the day. <laughs> oh no, but I think you broke all the reds. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just built that. It's okay. I just go and fill it in like this, like this, and like this. And there we go. <laughs> it's all back to normal now. Well, that's a little bit of drama. There we go. So that that is what's... There's a an accurate demonstration of what's going to happen when there is a real fire. And that was a real fire, but <laughs> it was a, a rather self-contained fire, I guess. Right, so I guess all I need to do now is go and uh, fill in the rest of this wall here. That doesn't need to be there. And so, uh, yeah, that, that isn't where the fire alarm's going to be. It's not going to be that close to the fire station. Otherwise, it might be quite pointless. <laughs> right, yeah. Anyway, one of the things I forgot to do... I was to go and um, right. Let me just go and empty my pockets a bit because they're getting quite full up. Uh, yeah, I was going to go and put inside of the uh, the fire trucks uh, loads of buckets of water. So I'm going to make a, a sign uh, so I can put a sign down for the the fire alarm, and then I'm going to make some buckets as well. Uh, if I go and actually, do do you have any buckets on you at all? Do you have any any spare buckets you can throw uh, throw to me? Can any spare buckets? Can can you come toss them to me? And uh, you need to put a redstone torch there, by the way, Lee. I had the same trouble as I think that you're having. I couldn't get it to work. <laughs> Right, so let me go, and uh, I'm going to go fill these up from the uh, the Pretty Kitty Spa, I do believe, uh, because there's uh, an infinite water source. I'm going to steal them uh, from the Cozy Koozie, my nice little jacuzzi in here, and then I can go and... Oh, no, I think I took too many. I think I took too many. Right, let me go and put uh, one back so I don't muck it up. We don't want that many waves in the Cozy Koozie. And there we go, and take it back again. Nope, that mucked it up again. Right, let's just leave that one in there. I think I've got enough anyway, and I'm going to go and put these inside of the, the fire truck, and then add down the sign, and then that should be... 
my Beat the Heat uh, fire station uh, completely finished, I do believe. So uh, let me go and just put uh, one there and one there. And uh, I believe I've got two buckets of water. So I'm going to take this one and this one and plonk that one in there. Being very careful not to pour it all over the place. And I've got an idea. Careful, Lee! Woo! <laughs> oh dear, I'm only joking, only joking. Have a little joke water fight there, Wibbly. Well, let me try and get back in and I'll try and switch this off if I can. There we go. Let's go out the fire truck and let's go and uh, add down the sign for my uh, fire alarm system. That was rather alarming earlier, wasn't it? All right, let's go and uh, I just put it down here and just write... Fire! I think you don't need anything more than that. Just fire! <laughs> run! Don't panic, but run! <laughs> there we go. So there's there's my my fire alarm system. So uh, this is the the fire station completely complete. I might add something down here. Maybe I could maybe add a, a few more item frames in here and uh, put some buckets of water in them. Maybe maybe put down a little sofa in there. Uh, maybe just to, to pretend that uh, there's some seats down here for the the uh, the firefighters to stay in. Uh, let's go and put all of our things back then, shall we? Uh, let's go put down the um, our fireman's helmet, put them back on the wall there, ready for another emergency, and I'm sure there will be more. <laughs> and uh, here's the, here's um, Lee's fire truck there. And then here's my fire truck out here, completely finished. So uh, that is the uh, the end of this episode and the the finished uh, fire station. And the next episode, uh, we're going to be playing a fire related mini game. And I'm not sure what it is yet, but I'm going to make up a, uh, a beat the heat mini game. So that's going to be good fun. Uh, but of course, I cannot forget about Benji, who's been sitting down. Have you cooled down now, Benji? Are you relaxed? Have you chilled out in the feeling nice healing ice area? Are you feeling nice? He looks a bit happier. He looks a bit happier. Let's give him some steak as well. That normally makes them even happier. Okay, if you're happy, emit love hearts. Yay! He's much more chilled out. He loves it in here. He doesn't even want to leave. Let's leave him in there then. <laughs> so that's the end of this episode here. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!